Alon Leal is a retired ambassador and the former director general of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Israel. And he joins us now from West Jerusalem. Alon, good to have you here on the news hour. It's a pleasure to have you. Now, Benny Gantz said that 80% of Israelis Thank agree you. on 80% of the issues. That sounds great, but trying to achieve what uh, Benjamin Netanyahu tried and could not is certainly going to be a, f uh, a big feat for, for Gantz. There's no clear path for him uh, in terms of assembling the majority required, is there? If uh, what Benny Gantz said, that 80% of the Israelis agree on 80% of the issues, is true, we would have a government long ago. This is not the situation. And we see that no one of them, uh, not uh, Netanyahu and uh, no Gantz, was able to assemble 51%, not 80%. Now it's in the hands of Gantz. The, there are three possibilities. One, that Gantz and Netanyahu will get together for a national unity government. The second is that no one of them will be able to construct a government and we have elections. But there is also a third one, not with lots of chance, of a minority government. That Gantz will head a coalition of about 52 members when he needs 61, and other 17 uh, or 18 will support it from the outside. Uh, this is also a possibility. So we are only at the beginning of these 28 days. We'll have to uh, need some patience to see what's coming out of it. We'll get to that 28 day issue in just a bit, but. If Benjamin Netanyahu refuses to join uh, the blue and white, uh, what are some of the more sensible, more, more plausible options for Benny Gantz? Does he try to recruit defectors from, from the Likud party, or does he sort of try to buddy up with Avigdor Lieberman? So far, uh, since we had the elections, and uh, this is uh, already some time, there were no defections from the blocs, not only from the parties, the big parties, from the blocs, from the right wing and the left wing, no defections. Uh, in fact, Lieberman can decide uh, tomorrow, if he wants a minority government, to have a government. If Lieberman will go with Gantz and with the Labour Party, they will probably be supported by two parties of the left, the Arab party, and another left-wing party. So it's really at the hands of Lieberman. All the three options, I think, are in the hands of Lieberman. If we'll have a national unity, Lieberman can push for it, but we need Netanyahu. If a minority government, Lieberman can see to it that it will happen tomorrow. And new elections also, if Lieberman will not join any side, uh, we might have uh, three elections, so he's a key factor in addition to Benny Gantz. Okay, Alon, let's talk about that third option. Um, what will it mean if Israelis are forced to go back to the polls for an unprecedented, unprecedented third, uh, third time? Uh, this will be unbelievable. We'll have third general elections within the same year, within the same 12 months, uh, I think the reaction of the public will be to punish anyone involved, to punish the big parties especially. And we might see really a, a different political map with the big parties going down from uh, 33, 32 to the mid-20s and new forces that are not connected with this uh, third elections uh, might again, uh, but we are still far from it. In order to have a decision for third elections, we will have at least seven weeks from now, and then we need three months uh, from the day of the decision to the day of the elections, and in these three months also everything can happen. Anything could happen. All right, Ambassador Alon Leal, thank you very much for joining us here on the News Hour. I do appreciate it.